Hey guys, this is Evan from Easy Origami, and today I'll be teaching you how to fold an origami chakra designed by Ancelis and Mose. This is an excellent modular model, and it's very simple to fold. This model requires 12 square sheets of paper. Each unit is folded from one square, and I recommend using 4 inch or larger squares to fold the units. Using 4 inch squares will result in a model about 5 inches wide. And I'm going to be using larger paper with color on one side and white on the other, just to make it a bit easier to follow along. And once you've prepared your paper, then we're going to start with our first square with the colored side up. And then we're going to fold in half vertically. So take this right edge and fold it over to the left edge. Align the corners and the edges. Then make your crease. And then unfold. And then we're going to fold in half horizontally. So take this bottom edge and fold it up to the top edge. Again, align the corners and the edges. Then make your crease. Then you can unfold and turn the paper over to the white side. And now we're going to fold up this bottom edge and align it with the center horizontal crease that we just made. So we're just going to pull up the bottom edge like this. And once the entire colored edge is aligned with that horizontal crease, then you can make your crease. And then you can unfold. Then we're going to rotate the paper 180 degrees and we're going to do the same exact thing. So once again, fold up this bottom edge and align it with the center horizontal crease. So just pull it up like this until the entire colored edge is aligned with that crease. And then you can make your crease. And this time we're not going to unfold. Instead what we want to do is take this colored edge here and align it with this topmost horizontal crease. So we're going to do that by lifting up the colored edge like this. You'll see that there's a mountain fold running along that edge. So we basically want to pinch that mountain fold and bring the colored edge towards the topmost horizontal crease. Just like this. And once the edge and the crease are completely aligned, then you can make your crease. And now we're going to fold this top edge down to the bottom edge. So we're basically just going to pull down this white flap as far as it'll go. And then you can reinforce the existing crease along that top edge. Then we're going to turn the model over. And then you can unfold this narrow layer on the top of the model here. So just fold it up as far as it goes. Then flatten everything out. And now we're going to focus on the right side of the model. And what we want to do is fold up this bottom right corner so that this right edge aligns with this existing horizontal crease here. So we're going to do that by lifting up the two sets of layers on the bottom right corner and we're going to pull them over to the left. And from here we want to make sure that the top edge of this corner is completely aligned with the horizontal crease underneath. So just align the edge in the crease all the way over to this right edge here and then you can make your crease. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left. So once again you want to lift up the two sets of layers on the bottom left corner and pull them over to the right. Then we're going to align the top of the corner with the horizontal crease underneath. And once everything is aligned, then you can make your crease. And then we're going to fold this narrow strip back down along the existing horizontal crease that we just used. So we're just going to fold it down like this. And then you can reinforce that crease all the way along the top edge. Then we're going to turn the model over. And now we're going to work with the right side of this bottom edge. And what we want to do is fold it up so that it aligns with this existing vertical crease here. So we're going to do that by lifting up the right side of the model and we're going to pull it over to the left. Then you want to start at the bottom of the model and work your way up until the entire edge is aligned with that vertical crease. And then you can make your crease through all layers. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left. So this time we're just going to fold this bottom edge up to align with the vertical edge on the flap that we just folded over. So just lift up the left side of the model and you want to pull it over to the right like this. Then you can start at the bottom of the model and work your way up until the two vertical edges align in the center of the model. Then you can make your crease, just like that. And then we want to lift up the model and we want to reinforce an existing mountain fold in the center of the model here. So we're essentially just folding the entire model in half, just like this. Then you can look at it from the side. And this is one completed unit. Now you must fold 11 more. And once you've folded all 12 units, you're going to need two to start the assembly. Then, look at one, and you'll notice that it has a large rectangular flap like this on each side, and it also has a small pocket underneath this colored triangle here on each side. So once again, we're going to take both of our units, and what we want to do is insert the second unit's rectangular flap inside of the small triangular pocket on the first unit. So we're going to do that by lifting up both units, and we want to bring them together like this, again making sure that the second unit's rectangular flap goes underneath the triangular pocket on the first unit. Then you want to slide the two units together as far as they'll go, 
And then we're going to turn the model over and do the same exact thing. And you'll see that the second unit's rectangular flap is now held on top, so we carefully want to lift that up and slide it underneath the triangular pocket on the first unit, just like we did on the other side. Then you can slide both units together as far as they go. And once you have something like this, then we're going to turn the model back over, and we're going to add a third unit the same way. And we're going to do that by lifting up all three units. Then we want to bring the second and third units together, again making sure that the rectangular flap on the third unit goes underneath the triangular pocket on the second unit, just like we did before. Then we can slide the second and third units together as far as they go. Then you can turn the model over, and we're going to do the same exact thing. And now you'll see that the third unit's rectangular flap is now held on top, so we carefully want to lift that up and slide it underneath the triangular pocket on the second unit, just like we did before. Then you can push the second and third units back together. And once you have this, then we're going to turn the model over, and we're going to add the remaining nine units the same way. So continue adding units just like we've been doing until you've reached the last one. And as you add the last few units, you'll start to see the first and last units overlapping a bit. So what you want to do is just keep the first unit's flaps on top, and it'll make it much easier to assemble the rest of the model. And once you've connected 12 units, then we simply want to insert the first unit's flaps inside of the last unit's pockets, just like we've been doing. So we're going to do that on both sides, just like this. So we're just going to turn the model over and do the same exact thing. And once you've done that on both sides, then you can turn the model over. You can bring all of the units together. And once you've done that, then your origami chakra is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to fold an origami chakra designed by Ancela Samoz. Feel free to upload photos of your completed model to the YouTube gallery on my website to be featured here in my next video, or simply upload your photos to Instagram with the hashtag EasyOrigami to be featured here as well. Also, be sure to check out Ancela's website and Flickr photo stream for more of her origami work. I'll post the links in the video description below. And if you like this video, definitely check out some of the other similar origami tutorials featured on my YouTube channel as well. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching.